The Honourable Member for Launceston. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Mr President, I wish to speak today about an icon in my city which is proudly still selling men's clothing as well as being a long-serving cafe to its many customers. Neil Pitt Menswear was opened in Charles Street, Launceston in 1949 by Neil and his brother Don. After 20 years, in 1970, the brothers bought the old Majestic Theatre on Brisbane Street and converted it to a men's retail outlet complete with a mezzanine cafe. The Majestic Theatre was Launceston's first purpose-built cinematic theatre and a huge historic theatre at the heart of Launceston's arts community, owned by Greek entrepreneur Marino Lucas. It was constructed in 1917 at the expense of £18,000 and opened on June 2 the same year. The frontage of the building was 72 feet wide, while the Brisbane Street entrance was 22, 25 feet wide. The Majestic Theatre closed on February 26, 1970. The final film it screened was Sweet Charity, starring Shirley MacLaine. The now converted theatre sees the dress circle foyer as a workroom and the auditorium is a storeroom. The intricate ceiling remains intact, as do details around the interesting upstairs space. The contrast that exists is between the racks of men's clothing and the grandeur of a theatrical era bygone and reminiscent of the grandeur of the cinematic tradition of the past. An original 1929 projector from the theatre's heyday is on display in the store. Launceston cinema historian John Healy said the most impressive aspects of the Majestic were its ceilings and marble staircase. At 86, Don Pitt still manages the shop and is probably one of the world's most experienced retailers. His menswear business has mostly escaped the fashion buyer's transition online, as suit buying requires one-on-one -on -one customer service for fitting. Don says his business formula had barely altered in 70 years of trading, as classical fashions remained popular and customers were still attracted to good old-fashioned service. His main challenge was the rising cost of doing business, with increasing utility costs, taxes and other fees which had to be absorbed. Ensuring involvement of younger family members and the fact that the business has continued to trade is true testament to the quality of the business. William Pitt has been at Neil Pitt since 1993. Andrew Pitt returned to Launceston in 2009 to learn the family business. He's become firmly embedded in Launceston, having joined the boards of both the Launceston Chamber of Commerce and City Prom in 2014, the board of Breath of Fresh Air Film Festival, and was instrumental in establishing the Welcome Dinner Project in Tasmania. He's recently consulted for the University of Tasmania on how the Northern Transformation should work towards making Launceston a real university city. <laughs> Neil Pitts is still one of Australia's best menswear stores, with an exceptionally large range of quality products in a very wide variety of menswear lines. The service they provide is personal and relaxed. Their staff are true professionals with extensive experience in menswear. They specialise in suits with one of the biggest ranges in Tasmania. They have a formal suit hire service and also have a large range of big men's clothing available. The coffee shop is rumoured to have the best scones in the state baked fresh every morning. The continuity and endeavour that has seen this business survive is a true testament to the belief that good service and quality products are all enduring and very symbolic of the business heartland of Launceston. Well done, Neil Pitts, and may you continue operating for many years to come. The Honourable Member for Murchison. Uh, 